I'm back with another what I eat in a day video and today is a triple day. So I've got a run this morning, then I've got gym, then I've got to go to see my physio in Manchester and then I've got a bike in the evening. So we've got a lot on. So that will interact, if you like, with what I'm eating and why. And I'm going to talk you through, I guess, the decisions I make at different points in my training with how I fuel. And it's important to say that a focus for me has always been getting in tasty foods, a balanced diet and fueling myself with enough at the right times for what I'm doing. I have experienced disordered eating in the past so I don't track calories and I have worked with sports dietitians to help me with my marathon fueling, learning about what the right foods are for me and that will be reflected in what I'm eating today. This is not an example perfect standard diet that I am preaching to you all. It is just a day in my life of training and what I'm eating which starts off with breakfast and it's summer so I'm not eating my porridge but I have myself a bowl of bran flakes with a chopped up banana in and some semi skimmed milk feeling a little bit like an old lady my Nana eats bran flakes it's got a good amount of fiber in it it's carbs it's what I'm starting the day off with and I've also got glass of water with a pineapple hydro tab in it. You've not been drinking all the way through the night, so it's good just to kickstart the day. With your hydration and putting an electrolyte tab in there means it tastes good and it tops up the electrolytes as well. Mm. And it's all washed down as well with a big old cup of English breakfast tea. This doesn't have necessarily a huge function in being a performance choice for what I have. I like a cup of tea in the morning. I also like having a little bit of caffeine to kickstart the digestive processes because it's a good idea to go to the toilet before you run. And I don't need to explain why that is because you probably all know. So tea does that for me. It doesn't need to be coffee. I've also got my morning supplements. I try and take these every morning. I'm not as consistent with it as I would like to be. It is omega-3 fish oil, vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc, a multivitamin, and a probiotic. I buy these from Healthspan Elite because they are batch tested and informed in sport, which means it's as much confidence as you can get that these aren't contaminated with any banned substances, which is really important in a sport where you can get drugs tested and you don't want to be taking banned substances. You just want to be taking the good stuff. Let's eat. mile easy run that is on the menu this morning a lot of people ask me if I ever run fasted in the morning ie you know not having any breakfast and just going off the stored fuel you have from the night before and the day before okay so for some reason I was attacked by a gust of wind for this next section of talking and it's not headphones friendly so I'm gonna speak over what I was saying thanks to a handy transcript from Premiere Pro. We're talking about running fasted. I very rarely run fasted unless I've got something planned for the day, which means I've got to get out the door at sort of six, seven in the morning so I can't get up and eat early enough beforehand. But anything over a 40 minute run, I start to feel quite tired and sluggish if I haven't had breakfast in the morning. So the vast majority of the time I do run after having breakfast and I usually leave about an hour and a half gap before getting out the door and starting my run. And the reason I leave an hour and a half to two hours gap is so that I don't get a stitch or any acid reflux or literally bringing my breakfast back up during the run because nobody wants that. It's a gorgeous morning for it. three miles 8.31 miles sorry in an hour and two minutes and 37 seconds averaging 732 minute miling which is in 
minute case because I'm old-fashioned. Let's just check the rest of the stats. The last important one that I care about, average heart rate 147, max 163, which would have been the stinker of a hill we went up. Nice recovery run this morning. Had a session yesterday, so just wanting to get the legs moving, stimulate that active recovery and feel good on a base mileage day today. I'll get back, get my snacks on the go. And I do have quite a big snack on Wednesday after my run in between the run and the gym because I've had breakfast at what 7 30 8 o'clock this morning and then I'll go to the gym in about 45 minutes do a gym session and won't get home till like 1 1 30 and that's way too long a gap to not refuel in and having something post run and also coincidentally pre-gym just replenishes those carb stores I try and get a good amount of carbohydrates and protein in which is combination that I've been recommended to use by my sports nutritionist that I've worked with to get all the good stuff back in the muscles and to fuel what you're doing. My gym session is always better when I've had a really good quality, really healthy, really nourishing meal or snack if you like. And I'll talk you through the snack of choice on this here Wednesday morning. <laughs> Today's snackage post run was some Faye 0% yogurt, very thick, very high in protein. Put a little bit of the nutritional information on the screen here. This is sort of what I look at for my post run pre gym snack. A decent amount of carbs, a decent amount of protein, topped with a bit of granola and a banana to tick the carbs and the sugar box. And of course, I also have my OTE chocolate whey protein shake, which I'll have with my snack and then also in between the run and the gym I'll take this into the gym with me as well. I also had a lovely cup of tea after my run and then got in the shower because although I was dirty from the run and I'm gonna be dirty in the gym there's something about being clean and in a fresh outfit for going to the gym which is something that my teammates have converted me to so in some fresh kit for the gym sesh I'll go get that done before I head home. Quick turnaround lunch physio then back for the bike and then I will probably collapse in a heap this is a longer day than usual where I'm kind of on the go fitting in physio in the middle of a triple day but we're here for it we love the grind let's go and get the gains on in the gym gym done we are five hours into hell day which is a new term that I am coining for Wednesdays thanks to my coach who said that she used to refer to Wednesdays as hell day when she was an athlete because they are just so full on. So much going on. You've done a workout yesterday, so you're tired. And then you've got run gym run, or in my case, run gym bike. I'm hoping this video doesn't just become a me complaining about my full on day because I, I really do love what I do. This is a very privileged position to be in. I love my job and I love being able to be an athlete and prioritize my running because of the work I do, i.e. making content and coaching athletes. But it's a lot. <laughs> Finished the gym sesh. I had four supersets today. First one being back squat to box and then box jumps. I had 40 kilos for the first two sets of the squats and then 50 for the third. Second superset was single leg hamstring bridge iso hold between boxes, the devil's exercise, so painful. And then Smith machine step up again with weight added to that. Third superset was suspension trainer knee tuck, another hellish exercise, work in the core. and single leg iso hold mid stance which is kind of like a you're halfway into a calf raise or in your mid stance of your run on the smith machine with weight added to it and then the fourth and final one was single leg romanian deadlift and suspension trainer pile off press working the whole bod today and i'm fully ready to get battered at physio in approximately two hours i've got to get home get some munch in a quick lunch a quick shower and quick change and then drive to physio so let's go it's lunchtime so that's lunch today. A lovely Warburton's seeded protein rich bagel, toasted with a little bit of butter on top and some already cooked but reheated grilled chicken with a little sprinkle of paprika and salt and pepper to make sure it's tasty. 
I used some kale and baby leaf salad on the bagels and then added some avocado, plenty of olives, some beetroot, some pepper. Just getting a nice sort of diverse plate of food of lots of different nutrients and tasty food post gym. That's what I tend to focus on. I come back from the gym having run first thing feeling pretty tired and a nice plate of food helps pick me up and getting that food in pretty quickly afterwards helps me feel ready to kind of carry on with the rest of my day if you like and because I've got another activity later on which would normally be a run but today is a bike it's really important that I'm on top of my fueling throughout the day. Now pre-run first thing in the morning a little bit like today I focus on simple foods mainly getting the carbs in and hydrating myself after a sleep and also so foods that aren't gonna mess with my stomach on the run. S things that are easy to digest, cereals, oats, toast. And then post run, I follow the advice from my sports nutritionist to get something in within 30 to 60 minutes when your muscles are primed and hungry, if you like, for that glycogen that's been depleted on a run, even more so on a hard day, on a workout or a long run day, and you wanna replenish those stores, which can optimize your recovery. Getting a really good snack or post run meal in can help promote adaptations to the exercise you've just done and stop your body from staying if you like in that state of breakdown that it's in during that strenuous activity. Okay, today was an easy run, so not as important, but I still like to be in a good routine with it because it's it's a mindset thing, making sure that I've got good snacks with me so that I don't go hungry and then go into my gym session feeling tired and not really ready to attack those lifts. And of course, not forgetting to rehydrate and stay hydrated. It's probably one of the most important things you can do. And I think people often forget that it is part of your nutrition because being hydrated makes sure that your muscles are able to absorb the nutrients from the foods you're eating and just keeps your mental clarity in check as well. <sighs> I'm gonna go and have a shower and then <sighs> get changed. I've got 20 minutes until I need to leave for physio. And I should probably pack a snack for that as well because I'll be on my way home heading to the bike and inevitably I'll be hungry. I'm literally constantly hungry. I'm, I'm almost hungry now. Well, I'm not actually. That was a really nice meal. Let's go wash. Coffee is necessary to get me through the rest of this day. We're gonna make some iced coffee for the road. And I should have left five minutes ago. Oh my beauty and biscuits. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Right, speed coffee. I'm gonna go for creamy caramel flavoured coffee. It's quarter past two. I can take a bit of caffeine. Famous last words. Little bit of hot water. Zhuzh it round. Dissolve. Dissolve. Ice. We need ice. Don't look at my washing I need to do. Come this way. What is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's Daniel not filling up the ice cube trays. So I'm gonna be passive aggressive and also not fill it up. Guys, we have to stop being so immature. Ice, milk, and et voila. We've made iced coffee. And I'm now gonna grab myself a bar for the road because I'm likely to be hungry in approximately an hour. And then I have cross training. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, so painful. Physio is painful. If you are seeing a physio for a specific problemo or area that needs strengthening and sorting out, um, it can be painful. I had two needles in my ass in one of my glutes. Did you know, fun fact of the day, you've got five glute muscles on each side? Technically six, he said. Chris Brammer is essentially a genius. He fixes everything in a click. Well, not quite, in, in, a, in a session. And I needed that today. Needles, lots of deep tissue, very, very painful, but I know it's what I needed. And I've got some specific exercises to help with my tight everything on my left side. And it's raining, but we're in denial here. So sunglasses are on. I'm hungry. So I'm gonna munch on my caramel flapjack from OTE, these little anytime bars. And I've had my iced coffee. I'm gonna go straight to the bike because physio overran, because I'm a needy little athlete. These are what get me through 
afternoons like this. And I was actually told by my nutritionist last time I spoke with them that I needed a little bit more fat in my diet. And these have got some of that in it. So you need fat to protect your muscles from injury. And us female athletes need fat a little bit more than men because without fat, your hormone cycle isn't regular. You might not have a menstrual cycle, which is massive red flag for getting bone injuries and stress injuries. Fat is good. Don't avoid it, please. Athletes, you need some fat in your diet. It won't make you fat, I promise. Oh, why does it feel like there's still a needle in there? Let's get this show on the road. And by the way, I'm actually wearing Daniel's hoodie today. Check it out. We released some more merch. This little running character down here, running along my t-shirt, that's PBs all round. And wearing it for a race or after, or just generally owning the PBs all round design is scientifically proven to increase your chances of running a PB. I know it's impressive and we have put that magical power into t-shirts, into sweatshirts, we've got hoodies and we've got tote bags. The hoodies come in grey and black, as do the sweatshirts, and this lovely tote bag here is available in a black or a tan colour. Get your hands on the PB's All Round merch now, and for the first week of launch only, there's 15% off if you spend more than 50 quid. The link is here on the screen and in the description. Go check it out. Oh, ah, rain, rain, go away. <sighs> Bike done, took it super, super easy. Don't think my heart rate got over like 133 as the max average was like 120. Just getting the physio out of the legs and getting myself moving, but I didn't want to take it too hard because I am a little bit sore and fragile after physio. So ticked a box, got the 35 minute bike double done, and now we eat. Here she is. Uh, oh. What have we got here? Well, we've got a take on Greek kebab. Uh, these are not hot enough. It's called Euros and... Isn't it Euros? Euros. Euros? Euros? After Are you even Greek? Gyros, that's what people call it because it's spelled G-Y-R-O-S. Right, okay. Gyros. Chicken kebab, roasted veg, it's just some salad for the side. Salad! Got some yogurt sauce over there. Yog. Parsley. Parsley. Let us eat! If you're new here or don't already know from having watched any of my previous videos, this guy cooks all my dinners because he is an absolute gem and I'm very, very lucky. And I have to, um, you know, I have to make sure I get good comments like that in regularly enough so that he um, doesn't change his mind. Because I quite like this arrangement. I think it's great. I think it's good. We've got a good, we've got a good little deal, haven't we? You know? What do I get? Um, me. No, we, um, you know, we have a balance. Mm -hmm. We have a good balance. You, you clean the bathroom. You cook, I clean. Sometimes. I'm making my gyros. This looks nutritious and delicious. Um, what you got there? Hmm? What you got there? This? Yeah. This? It's a Sun Lover limited edition. Limited edition. Mango, coconut, white chocolate magnum. Damn. It's amazing. And I got you one as well. <gasps> and um, nutritionally, very, very important for performance enhancement. Tastes amazing, releases serotonin, makes you feel good, helps you relax, makes you thankful that you're alive and you have taste buds. And listen, in years gone by, there would have been a time in the summer where I wouldn't have allowed myself to have one of these. And that's why I think it's really important to have an ice cream on a Wednesday night if you want one and if that makes you happy and to not associate having a treat on one specific day of the week or when you've earned it, no such thing. It's really important for me to have nice 
sweet, tasty things when I want them because it's also a celebration of how far I've come. Nothing else going on up here, just happy to be relaxing with an ice cream and watching the telly and rounding off a great day of eats and training and some boxes ticked. Happy days. I would say in marathon training, I'd probably have a bigger dinner to prepare for some big mileage coming up the next morning. I mean, I'm in half marathon training at the moment, so it's all just slightly less volume. But again, like if I had a big long run tomorrow in half marathon training or a bigger session, I'd probably have a more substantial kind of post dinner snack as well. I might, might still have the Magnum, but I might have like some milk and a banana before bed as well, just to top up those carb stores, ready to use them all up in the morning. But today, this will do the trick. And um, what else do I normally say? Oh yeah. Love the grind.